it is my great privilege to be here with you. Um, I'm here to thank all of you who have supported the ASEAN Health Initiative over the past year and who have provided key insights, um, those of you at the PAS. John Hopkins University has taken this feedback and lessons from the past year to heart to rethink how best this program can be developed to achieve impact. And they have partnered with my school at the National University of Singapore to develop this updated program, which I'm happy to share with you today. We have survived a terrible pandemic, but many others have not, and we are still living with the health and socioeconomic consequences of the aftermath. The pandemic has shown us that we not only need better vaccines and diagnostics, but more importantly, resilient societies, as well as a broader idea of public health beyond just hospitals, laboratory sciences, and clinical systems. This is also important to mitigate the other global health threats that we face, such as climate change. We therefore must expand public health training to other critical but less traditional fields, such as education, urban development and planning, mental health, and maybe even banking, so that uh, we can be better prepared the next time. Because the next time will happen within most of our lifetimes. My school in the John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health which incidentally was established in response to the great flu pandemic of 1918, wanted to create a new ASEAN public health training initiative modeled after the very successful Bloomberg American Health Initiative that was established in 2017. That program has trained more than 250 American leaders in public health with a similar number of new partner organizations where these emerging leaders work. In the ASEAN Health Initiative, we aim to train up to 30 ASEAN public health leaders from non-traditional fields each year. Our emerging leaders will pursue a certificate course in the US and Singapore that is focused on developing skills that are relevant in dealing with real-world issues and with central challenges and priorities that are identified by the ASEAN countries themselves. There will also be an annual summit to convene leaders and their organizations to identify and promote solutions to these challenges. We're asking you to consider contributing towards our targets of $4 million for the education program, which will go towards sponsoring the future and diverse emerging public health leaders of ASEAN countries. Our university schools will also have skin in the game, committing resources and manpower to developing the curriculum, providing mentorship organizing the annual summits and interacting with global health leaders and organizations and others such as yourselves to better develop a future program. Thank you for hearing me out. You can find out more afterwards from Professor Heath Elliott at the John Hopkins booth or myself, and we look forward to your generous support. Thank you. Mm -hmm.